Hola everyone, I'm here with Inés in Lisbon, Portugal in Artes y Letras Atelier. Exacto. And I see that there's a lot of text in your work. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's Lisbon related, sometimes it's more about personal and making humans like either question something or like make them feel something. What's mm -hmm. the like motivation behind that? I always write a lot and I, maybe it has something to do with it. And normally it's something that moves me and I need to write it. And it always tends to be something that I want to put out and maybe, I don't know, somebody else will relate to that too and make sense to others. Where did you get that material from? Have you been accumulating it over the years? I accumulate a lot, so I'm trying to stop that, but <laughs> <laughs> it's not very... Uh, possible for my brain because I see image and I, I, I see a story there and I need to have it. And actually I started college very young but, but I didn't know the name for what the things that I was doing so uh, then I found out that I was doing college. And now it's evolving for something, some, some different kind of work more related with drawing and painting. Mm -hmm. It's a different uh, so it's very layered. But it has a lot of layers. Another thing is that lemon tree mm -hmm. um, that we started talking a little bit yeah. yesterday. Can mm -hmm. you tell the story behind it? I had a tree in my garden, a lemon tree that fell apart with the wind. Mm -hmm. And then one of the branches was dying. And when I found it, I was just, don't take that away. I, I need that. And I, it was Christmas time. So wow. I, brought in uh, the, the branch here and did my Christmas tree in a lemon uh, nice. and so I stay there and um, I keep on doing things with lemons what do lemons mean do they have a, a special that, meaning here or? no it's just uh, an obsession and I can tell everything with them lemons come from the bitterness in life mm -hmm. and how you handle it and you transform it, that bad thing that you see as a bad thing mm -hmm. in something else. Everything connected with lemons or yellow or I just put it there and it's always an ongoing project that with little friends in. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of little friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, and sometimes uh, children come here and they go there and do their own stories also with the... Uh, <laughs> That's awesome. It's very funny. But as, but it, as a local artist, like what do you think uh, it means to have a storefront like this, you know, a place where you can constantly be visited by locals and also yes. tourists. For me, it's very good because I, since I like to be alone, and uh, it's the only place where I can show my work. I don't think I could do this anywhere else. And uh, uh, also, it has to do with connection because not every people can hear. Mm -hmm. They don't. Most part of people don't enter, so they also enjoy to see that it's um, a place like this still exists. Yeah. Um, but could you share one interesting experience that you had, like the most like unforgettable or something? They are all, are um, memorable for me, but um, I made some friends here actually. That is, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing you. your story. Um, how do we say in Portuguese, but or something?